problem of equivalent resistance using star delta transformation. So here is the problem. These are the points A and B, and resistances are given of the values n. This is also 10. 5 ohm. One more 5 ohm. 20. 15. This is 2 ohm. Once again 5 ohm. 25 ohm. And 30 ohm. We have to find out equivalent resistance between points A and B. So R, A, B. That's what we are supposed to find out. So, first step you need to figure out how many series and parallel combinations are available. So, if I see properly, I will get this series connection as well as this series connection. This will give me 10 plus 5 equal to 15 ohm. And here 5 plus 25 equal to 30 ohm. So to see properly, I can convert this delta into equivalent star for further simplification. So, delta will be converted into star like this. Let's write the values for the resistance. So, I'll write over here between 5 and 20 that will get converted into a resistance in star like this. 5 multiplied by 20 upon addition of all the three resistances connected in delta. So this will give me answer 2.5 ohm. Similarly, I can get resistance between 20 and 15 and that is equal to 20 multiplied by 15 upon addition of 3 resistances that ultimately 40 here it will be 7.5 ohm and finally between 5 and 15 5 multiplied by 15 upon 40 if you solve you will get 1.5 8, 7, 5, 4. So, in one shot, we are converting and reducing number of resistances so that equivalent circuit will look like this. A and B points remain intact and resistances will be 15, 10, 2.5, 7.5, 30, one more 30 ohm, this is 2 and 1.875. Now I can say these two resistances are in series. These two are also in series. And 7.5 and 30 are also in series. So this will give me 7.5 plus 30 equal to 37.5 ohm. 2 plus 1.875 
will become 3.875 ohm, 10 and 2.5 will become 12.5. So once again circuit will get reduced and the equivalent circuit will look like this. The values 12.5, 3 37.5, 30 and 15. If you see carefully, I cannot proceed further without the application of delta star or star delta transformation. So once again I have to transform this delta into star. You can select any star, any delta for that matter. Here I am selecting this delta for conversion which will have a equivalent star like this. So here converting 15, 12.5 and 3.875 delta into equivalent star. Let's write the values for this. So between 15 and 12.5 we will have 15. resistance given as 15 multiplied by 12.5 upon addition of all the three resistances connected in delta. If you saw this, you will get resistance equal to 5.9764. Similarly, between 12.5 and 3.875 you will have 12.5 multiplied by 3.875 upon addition of 3 resistances and that is nothing but 31.375 solution of this will give you answer 1.54 384 and finally between 3.875 and 15 resistance will be 15 multiplied by 3.875 upon 31.375 answer will be 1.8526 now, the circuit will reduce like this. We will have resistances of the values 5.9761, 1.8526, this is 30. 1.5438 this is 37.5 now it will become very easy because this is forming a series combination this is also forming a series combination so 30 plus 1.8526 will give me answer 31.8526 ohm and 37.5 plus 1.5438 will become equal to 39.04384. Once I reduce these resistances, circuit will be like this. Five point nine seven six one 
and here it will be 39.0438 and here 31.8526 now it is very easy because these two resistances forming a loop hence they are in parallel so equivalent will be 39.0438 parallel 31.8526 to solve this multiplication of two resistances divided by addition of same two resistances will give you equivalent resistance of this parallel combination equal to 17.54174 so finally 5.9 61 will come in series with 17.5417 and i can write that r a b which is nothing but equivalent resistance between point a and b will be 5.9761 plus 17.5417 the answer you will get is 23.51784 so sometimes in a problem even if you apply star delta or delta star once still that is not sufficient it may happen that you have to apply star delta transformation once again Thank you.